Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Here's Bayan with Bayan Hello. Today, I'm just gonna show you how to install a, a toilet fringe on the concrete floor. So, the what we're gonna use here gonna be we're just gonna use our old hammer drill, a hammer, and a few of those pinballs. You can see it's cracking there. Once hit the concrete, we bang with the nail, it's just gonna open and gonna hold in there. I have uh, two different sizes, then I see which one gonna work better, and then it's the one that I can use. And it's about it, okay? Let's, let's work. Here it is, what it is. I'm just gonna plug this hole that way nothing fell in there. Then it'll be good to go. Measuring that is important, so I'm just gonna open this toilet box, find a few screws to hold it down, that way I can show you two ways to do it. Nothing here yet. Let's see next one. Oh, here are they. Have the screws, I'm just gonna put it in there. I could just take the measurements, but I'm just gonna show you if you want to be sure. That's right, just put the screw in there. Make sure it's gonna be right on the corner. And put the other one. Make sure it, we have it there. So now I'm gonna have a I'm gonna take the measurement. Okay, I have here 11 uh, and 3 eighths in the set of the screws. Oh, this one looks to be on the right spot. Otherwise, you just can uh, move them a bit, this type. Now I'm gonna put it on the right spot. This is, oh. Yeah, I have a uh, 11 and 3 eighths, we're good to go. Now I'm just gonna, like it is in here, I'm just gonna make a hole in there. Okay, so, now I do. One pin hold very good. So sometimes we use this type of screws too. You can see the design for it. Holds good on the concrete, but this I prefer to use the pins. Like you guys can see the pin has a little crack in there. And I can show you guys uh, let me see. You guys can see the difference between the two of them. And this one is a little bit wider now. This is what make it hold on the ground, so this That's one is garbage. If I could bang it, once I bang it a little bit harder on a hole, it crack this end. Let's try to see if I can do it in here. Yeah. There is better, see? They now just go straight out. This is how the, it looks right on the ground. Used one, new one. This one is large. This is there forever, right? Oh, yes, and this is about it. This is a sword in here. I already have a video how to install the toilet, but I'm just gonna include a little bit here on this one. That way, that way you guys can see. Doesn't take very long. We have a nice wax in there. I'm just gonna put it straight there this time. See? A new toilet, uh, if everything is good, doesn't take very long at all to install it. Yeah, we just uh, 
Bounce on it. Make sure it goes. Just gonna put it like that for now. Not gonna tight it up a lot right now. Just gonna say so this one would fit right there later on. Some of them they come with extra pieces, but this one is just a uh, looks a few pieces short. So I'm not gonna tight it all the way down because I might need to move it a little bit. This is another piece that we have. We just put it right there. This one here, we do not need this one. But this one is right there. This is the case that you need to, you have different hose for the water, water supply, so I use this one. So this is very much garbage. Let's see what we have in here. Few screws, few pieces. I show you guys how to do this one. This one would go, would go like that, this black one. Just a rubber for support. Let's see what we have here. We have two screws, two sealers for the water. This go inside the tank, and four of these. I show you guys how they go. So this one would go right there. Let me show you guys where it go. See those. You have a couple holes in there. Just put one there. You guys can see here the hole. There you go. And then you're just gonna go. Drop it right in. And now I have I grab two of this. Where I gonna put them gonna be right there. This is a water seal. It goes down the tank and this other one the screw has a water seal so I put this one just make sure you tighten up very good usually just tighten by hand is good enough but if you need it here so you have a a place there where you can put the a flat screwdriver to hold it but usually just by hand is tight enough. I would put this one right away because it's a little bit easier. Once I set up the, the water supply, a little bit easier to put it in here that way you don't have to bend so much. You just gotta test it to see once you have the water in. But usually if you just use the hand, give it a good tight. It is plant not to leak any water. So. You guys can see the two screw. You can see the rubber seal in there. And this other two, I'm just gonna use them in here. Yes guys, in this case we don't need this this one in here. I was gonna go to the garage and then I'm just gonna connect the water supply in there. This one I can try to connect it with the hand and try it. Usually I use the wrench, but let's see if the hand is just good enough. That way it would be less tools. Let's open this water. Well, looks to be we already have a working toilet. I'm not gonna put the lid yet. This is the toilet seat. All in one package. Okay, this one will have a few pieces in there. Very good stuff. Let's put one screen there for now. I'm gonna put it too tight. That way I can adjust it a little bit later. 
once I once I have this seat, seat I can adjust it. I just want to make sure it's gonna be okay on the end. Okay, before I put this finished part, I just gonna check to see if the it is on the right spot. Almost perfect. I guess I just gotta push it back a little bit. Good on all sides. Now I'm gonna tight it real tight. Like you guys can see here, I'm just using my hand so far for the toilet part. Is installation. Now I'm just gonna remove this guy. And then I'm gonna put this finished part right there. And then I put the this it back. Put the lid back. And we are almost good to go. I'm just gonna use the wrench to make sure this guy is a little bit tighter than the hand. And we're gonna cut the screws, put the cover on, and we'll be Good to go. I'm just gonna use this ring to tight it. Please do not tight it. Uh, do not over tight it because the base could split and break, right? So. That should do it. Well, we just need to. Cut this guy a little bit in here. There we go. Just about it. Yes guys, thank you. Thank you for support. Thank you for your help. Thank you to follow us and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. See you soon. Yeah, we just have a just open account on the Instagram. I'm just gonna post a few things in there. You guys want to check it out. It's uh, Bayan Henor. See you there.